Hello, this is Akshay Rai and today I am going to explain you about my new exercise of my compiler lab. So, uh, this was about predictive parsing. We have to uh, create a program which could do pre predictive parsing. So, what is a predictive parsing? It is a recursive descent, uh, okay, uh, top down parsing technique that constructs the parcel tree from the top and input is read from the left to right. It uses a procedure for every terminal and non terminal entity. Okay, so what it will do is uh, it will have a top down approach. Uh, okay, and then uh, it can be done in backtracking or non backtracking method. But in non backtracking method, predictive parser is done, which is also known as LR par LL parser. So let's skip this algorithm. What we'll have is this uh, sample input as a table. We can uh, write a program to generate input tables, but here uh, we just need to take the in, uh, input uh, table as the input. And uh, uh, if if you know about uh, LL parser, so we'll have a set of uh, procedures. Then according to that set of procedures, we'll have to first uh, remove uh, left recursion and then we'll have to uh, create first and follow and in fir first of E then we have to uh, put these E productions and then in follow also, uh, sorry in first only but if the first contains this epsilon then we need to put this uh, E produce E dash produces epsilon in this uh, follow position. So that procedure is a long uh, task. Um, now we just have to get this table, okay? And then after uh, generating this table, or uh, we already have this table, we have to uh, do like this. Uh, we have to give an in input string, uh, which will uh, this, this is the input string, and this dollar will be added automatically from your program and then uh, using this we have to read from left to right each production will be giving uh, like e produces t e dash so this will come into stack uh, replacing this e okay then uh, it will come it will come but if the production matches this uh, stack top part and this id uh, then we have to remove or we have to sh uh, shift you can say so we have to remove id uh, from both the paths then we'll have t dash and then again we have to do that uh, recursion and if it finds id again it will remove so like that as uh, see it has plus then it removes uh, so a terminal should come over here a terminal should come over here and here and then if they match they'll be removed if the variable is here and the terminal then we'll take this uh, production from this uh, terminal and then place it over here in the output and all kind of things and then uh, we'll know whether it's matching or not by getting this dollar symbol and this dollar symbol in stack and this uh, input okay so that's how predictive parsing works so let's go in the program now as you can see i've uh, created a table in this uh, di uh, dimensional array so uh, i made it on notebook uh, figured out uh, what production will be there in which table and then accordingly i've placed uh, that production's right side value in the required position of this two dimensional array and the rest are just left blank with space as you can see over here in this table it's the, there's nothing if it's not matching so i've just left it blank and then there you go so also i've uh, created another table to perfectly match them with these integers value uh, see two will be for this tb two will be for this tb three so this is these are actually giving the position in the table okay now i've taken some uh, in, uh, in values 
let it be now i have to scan the input okay then i'm concatenating it with this dollar symbol as over here in the last then uh, stack 0 and stack 1 is nothing but dollar e e is the first production that's why and this dollar so dollar e and then uh, some integers uh, i equals to 1 and j equals to 0 now i'll be uh, printing in this format stack and input only okay now while stack i is not uh, this one dollar that means it doesn't reach to dollar okay this dollar uh, this part will run this while loop then uh, we'll match the stack i with s chain that is with this part stack i with stack uh, uh, input j and then if stack i equals equals to s j will decrement i and increment j that means will decrement this value and increment this value so it moves to right side and uh, if this is not happening then according to stack i we are using this switch case so if it is the first production okay uh, then we are setting this uh, strl equals to zero otherwise one two three four okay accordingly which production it is then uh, this stack j terminal values we are setting uh, str 0 1 2 3 4 yeah, if these are the terminals and now uh, we are putting this into this uh, m was the table we created for the productions and then if these are null then print error okay because uh, if they are not matching at all if it is not uh, if it is not null and it's matching with n or uh, then we have to decrement i that means if they are matching then we have to decrement this part uh, if they are matching to i then we are setting stack to i that means if uh, these parts are not matching then this will go into stack that's what it's mean then we'll decrement i and then uh, we are just printing all those uh, all that happening and if it's success we'll print success okay now let's run this program let's see uh, uh, my file name was Uh, those are just warnings so warning doesn't matter unless uh, you get an error a warning we can rectify later now for output we just have to write a now what string should i give uh, let me take the string from here itself i plus i star i that's the string i plus i star i i plus i star i so it did the parsing like uh, first e e's production was bt now this was the r string and it concatenated with s then uh, it replaces t with cf because it they didn't match similarly it replaces over here but uh, after this this i matches with this i so these two are removed and this is removed then b and plus is left then we'll go to the next production of b on plus then we'll get this then these two matches it will be removed and doing all these things we'll finally get the dollar symbol and dollar then it's a success so this is how my program is working successfully thank you